Hi everyone, welcome to this sweet version <laughs> of our restaurant show today. And I have executive chef Gary Lang, uh, one of the owners of the beautiful Breakwater restaurant over at Beaufort and Greenville, for those of you who are heading up north in the state. So um, today, this looks so delicious. And I know I'm so excited for Gary to bring a new ingredient to me too, so I think we're gonna learn about that soon, right? Sure. <laughs> All right, so what is this beautiful dessert that we have? Uh, this is a dessert that's on our menu. Okay. Um, it's uh, lemon basil cornbread pudding. Lemon basil cornbread pudding. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Okay. And it's served with a sauce that's uh, cream anglaise. All right. It's infused with uh, green tea from Charleston Green or Charleston oh, Tea Company. Oh, okay. So there's the secret ingredient. That's so you're infusing green tea into an anglaise, cream anglaise sauce. Exactly. Okay, fantastic. And tell me, how do you make a cream anglaise sauce? I'm jumping the gun. Am I jumping? No, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's basically it's a custard. Okay. That's um, that's made with um, whipping eggs. Okay. And then tempering it with cream. Uh, so and it's then bringing it up to about 180 degrees. A very careful. Yes. Um, so this is not something we want to attempt at home, <laughs> or we can melt our ice cream. I guess that would be, that would be my cheating <laughs> exactly. version of um, cream anglaise. And now, t okay, tell us about this beautiful uh, cornbread pudding, or cor just corn pudding, right? No cornbread. Am I saying, yeah, am I no, saying it wrong? No, it, <laughs> It's cornbread. It's made with uh, half cornbread, half uh, French baguettes. Oh. And it's infused with uh, lemon, basil. It also has a custard in it that holds. It. That's the binding. And that's that what's it keeping it together. Let me just spin that a little bit so you can see from all angles. So it is. So it's really a sweet and a savory. I yes. Mean, there's a, a bit of savory in there. Exactly. Um, and then that lemon probably brightens it up really mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Brightens it up. It brings the flavor of the basil out a lot. Okay. And now I know in the last show we did the stack. Can I just see that little contraption that you ever? The, the, oh. I love this thing. So, uh, I mean, what is? The, I love it's it. It's just a ring mold that uh, a lot of chefs use when they're plating stuff. Yeah. You just put your stuff in it and then lift it up, and you have a because you nice did the stack cylinder. with that mm -hmm. last time. Can I just show that? I mean, mm -hmm. I, so it's really. I mean, and really, if you have some kind of, I mean, this is a cookie cutter or something. If you're at home, I mean, if you wanted to present anything like that, that's just the way you just use this ring exactly. mold. Exactly. All, all the all the kitchen stores. Show me new things, yeah. so. The kitchen stores <laughs> all sell um, ring molds, and you okay. can buy a package of ring molds, and they're all different sizes. And those are different sizes. And see, that's I think it just makes it seem a little bit fancier, a little bit nicer mm -hmm. for the for the cook at home. It does for sure. All right. So then you also brought some beautiful dessert wines. Is that right? I did. <laughs> all right. Tell us about these, and do I get to try these? You did. Because I <laughs> love dessert wines. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a Sauter, Sauterne from uh, France, okay. Chateau Saint Vincent, okay. and it's uh, wine we carry at the restaurant, and it's a perfect pairing for the yes, cornbread pudding. pudding. I love it. Um, and is it? It's made from grapes that are left on so the vine, this. and they're left okay. beyond ripeness, and then they get a mold that attacks them, and right. it makes the, the grapes become very, very sweet. And is this like an ice vine? Or not the same. It's similar, similar. except an ice vine doesn't um, doesn't contract the mold, right? It, or it's the, the fungus that causes the right, sweetness. Right, that causes that nice sweetness. And um, but it is still. I mean, I mean, look at how that. Look at that. That is what it tastes. You may. We'll taste oh, it, it smells so good. I love it. And now you guys were just at a huge weekend at U Euphoria yes. in Greenville. Yes. If you could just tell me a little bit about because I've heard a ton oh, about it. <laughs> well, this is our first year doing it. It was a lot of fun. Um, they have events. For Friday night, Saturday night, or all day Saturday, and um, on Sunday, and we participated in the big food event they had on Friday night, gotcha. where they have I think 10, 11 restaurants. Right, right. And um, the restaurants are down there serving food, and it's right next to this big amphitheater where uh, Sean Mullins and Edwin McCain. Which played. that's a Low Country favorite person in the world is Edwin McCain, and so yep. he really um, helped put to this. To Put it together. My and understanding is he featured. started this about seven years That's ago. That's awesome. Yeah. So now, in, so in Greenville, you have both menus, similar menus in Beaufort and Greenville. Yes, very similar. And the dessert menu is at both places. Yes. Which you're going to see in just a second on the screen. But um, now, tell us. I know. So you have the dessert menus, which are beautiful with wine. So if you want to go just for dessert, you can do that at your place. But on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, you actually have special menus. Is that correct? We are. Great. <laughs> we run a um, recession menu. The recession menu. That's right. <laughs> We're still in the recession, yes. or we think we are. Um, but uh, that's a, a two-course dinner for twenty dollars. Oh, that's awesome! Twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. And now I've heard, I've heard that your mahi is fantastic there. And that's probably the number one seller on the recession menu. Gotcha. And what if I don't eat seafood? But I love seafood. But there's sometimes that I yeah. dine with people that do not eat seafood. Well, what would you? Uh, we also have a lamb meatloaf. Okay, and 
Well, tell me about that, man. man it sounds awesome. <laughs> uh, basically, it's just a tradi it use, um, traditional method of making a meatloaf, okay. but use ground lamb instead of um, beef and pork. Just to give it that different taste, a little bit of it, that gamey. You definitely I, get that lamb taste yes, out of it. Yes, I love it. It's delicious. And what kind of sauce? I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that doesn't have we your take typical a, we ketchup take a, sauce no, on. <laughs> we take a natural lamb um, stock and reduce it down to make it just a, a nice little jus that goes with it. Okay, great. And then now, um, again, we're going to show those menus up there in just a moment. But um, I know that with, uh, with your menus at both places, would you suggest to call? Is, do you take a reservation? Or do you, how would, does that work out? Because <laughs> I know people are probably definitely getting in there on Tuesdays. Definitely Wednesdays. recommended. Um, not always needed, but they're almost always needed on weekends. As, on the weekends, yeah. for sure. And Tuesdays and Wednesdays, um, definitely at least give a call ahead and if you need to. And one last thing I want to ask about. I know you have those great rooms that you can do private parties. Mm -hmm. um, with the entertaining season is coming up soon. Mm -hmm. uh, which, where can we contact you guys in order to start? booking. <laughs> um, Buford, we can, you can call 843. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll have it on the 379 um, yeah. <laughs> 0052. It's like asking someone their cell phone yes. number. I never know what mine is. <laughs> and I'm embarrassed to tell you, I no. don't know the green phone number. <laughs> well, we can definitely look it up and the website is right there at the bottom. And there's definitely, um, I, because I've heard about some people who've had some great private dinners there. Mm -hmm. And um, you definitely want to start calling because, you know, the holidays are right around the corner, which we'll be following up with some more of the special things that you guys do in the next upcoming weeks. But definitely, um, again, Chef, bring me a new ingredient, the green tea mm -hmm. from the Low Country. From the Low Country. In that cream and glass sauce. Right. I love it. But thank you so much again for coming out. And we're definitely going to taste this as soon as we're off. <laughs> thank you, Chef. Well, thank you Appreciate for it. Us. Absolutely. We'll be back in just a few.